So you've seen the other video that shows how to draw all the letters. I'm going to go ahead and do that now for the letters of my name. So that way I can start showing you how to add dimension to the letters once they're drawn. So first I make a vertical on either side. I'm trying to keep these spaces about the same dimension. If they look a little uneven, I can come back in. If you really want to be precise, you can actually measure in between those. But for time's sake, I'm going to just eyeball and guess where the even measurements would be. I don't need these lines here, so I go ahead and get rid of those. And then remember to make it look more dimensional if I connect between my vertical lines and then make a parallel line. I can give it the feeling that my A has some dimension. So I'm finished with the A here. I can go ahead and erase the extra vertical line there. Now I'm on to the U. So again for the U, vertical line, vertical line, horizontal line at the bottom, parallel lines to create the diagonals at the bottom. Then I erase my extra. Again, I no longer need those areas. Now it's time for the D. Remember for the D, we create almost like a zero shape. So two verticals and two horizontal lines. Then we go back through and add our diagonals. Okay, so here's my zero shape. Now on this side here, keep them parallel. Add parallel diagonals. I can go in, erase these extra lines I no longer need. There's the shape of my D for the R. I go ahead and just add a vertical on either side. I'm going to add a ver or a horizontal at the top. Again two horizontals in the middle. Then I need to add my diagonals to create the feeling of the curve of my R. And sometimes before I finish the letter, if there's so many lines I can't follow it, I'll go through and clean it up, get rid of some of those lines that I don't need. Then from this corner here, I go down to the edge, keep this line parallel, there's my R. Now for my E, just make it vertical. There's a horizontal line. There's my horizontal line. I need one more from the bottom. Okay. Ooh. I don't like the placement of my two middle ones, so I'm going to go ahead and move them. So sometimes that happens when you're just guesstimating where lines should go. If that happens, you just erase and restart. Okay, so here's the shape of my E. Now sometimes it can get confusing what to keep. So I'm going to go ahead and ask myself where the center part is, where the bottom part is, where the top part is. So I'm going to redraw that right there. There's my E now. No longer need this line here or here. And I missed erasing some of that for my R. I'm going to go ahead and erase there. And then again for the Y, what I find easiest, figure out where your center point is. So someplace in there, a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right. I'm going to create my vertical. Then I'm going to select the corner, draw down. Again, trying to keep it even. Make a mark that's even across. Start at the corner, draw down. Try and keep these the same width apart. There's my Y. And I get rid of my extra lines that I no longer need. So, let me grab a bigger eraser. Now that we've got our letters drawn, we no longer need our horizontal guideline or the edge of our letter guidelines. So I'm going to take, and I no longer need my letters above 
that, so I'm going to erase that. And I'm going to take and just clean up and get rid of any of those extra marks that I no longer need. So this is your chance to really make this look nice and neat. Get rid of those confusing lines that you no longer need. And this is also why it's helpful to draw light. So then when you go to erase those lines are drawn. Okay, so now that I have my letters drawn, remember, the next thing we do is we start to add dimension. So I have the front of my letters, oh, and I have a few straggle, stra stragglers for marks, so I'll get rid of those. So now that I have the front of my letters, I need to start adding dimension. That means I'm going to do the corner check like we practiced in class where I go through and I ask myself, can I connect from the corner to the vanishing point, which is at the bottom of my page here, without running into anything? So most of the bottom of the letter should be able to connect here. So right here for my A, I'm gonna connect it. Right here for this corner of my A, I can connect. Then I go up here. I see that I can go ahead and connect without running into anything. I come to this corner, I can't because I'd run through my letter. I go to this corner here and see that I can connect to my vanishing point. Again, I go to this letter here, or this corner of my A here. I can see I can connect to my vanishing point. So now I'm going to start checking the inside of my letter. Here, I can't, I'd run through my A. But if I look here, I've got a gap where I can add a line. But as soon as I hit part of a letter, I stop my line. So again, here's another corner. I line up my ruler with my vanishing point in there. As soon as I run into my letter, I stop. Line this one up here. We're going to see just a smidge of it. Then I run into my letter and I stop. This one here, I draw through my letter. I check this corner here, I draw through my letter. Check this corner here, I draw through my letter. This corner here, again, I draw through my letter. This corner here, I can add my dimension. As soon as I hit the U, though, I stop. So there I have all, oh no, you can't see any of that. Well, you'll see it on the U. Okay, so there you see all my dimension lines on the A. Now I repeat the process for the U. So again, line up my ruler with my vanishing point in the corner of my letter. I go ahead and draw my line all the way down to my vanishing point. I rotate it a little bit, hit the next corner. So as I mentioned, you're going to see it for each of the bottom corners should connect to the vanishing point since our vanishing point is low. Once you have all those lines in place, that's when you go back up to the top. So when I line up my ruler with my vanishing point, check this corner here, I see I draw through my letter. But this one here, I can go ahead and add. As soon as I run into my letter though, I stop it. This corner here, I draw through my letter. This corner I can add. As soon as I run into the D, I stop that letter. So here is the corner of my D that was missing. So I'm going to go ahead and do the corner check again. So here I can add my line. Down here I can add my line. Right here, again, I can add my line. This one here I can't. This one here I can't. This one here I can't. This one here I can. Stop as soon as I hit my letter. This one here I also can add. Stop as soon as I hit my letter. Now we're on to the R going to start it here, go all the way to my vanishing point, vanishing point, vanishing point. Okay, so the bottom is the easy part. Now we need to check our other corners. This one I can, this one I can't, this corner I can. As soon as I run into my R, I stop it. This one here, just a little bit will show. This one here, yes. And that's as far as I can go for the R. I'm missing some of my lines for my erasing, so I add them back in. Now it's time for the E. So again, I'm going to line my ruler up with the vanishing point. Start it there. Come over to this corner. Then I go up here. Add my dimension. Again, as soon as you hit part of your letter, you have to stop. And this one here, 
I can add, and as soon as I run into my R, I stop it. And then now for the Y. Can you see my Y? Not really. This is getting a little hard where the paper's so big. So I line up with the bottom of my Y, connect to my vanishing point, I rotate it, connect to my vanishing point, this one here. Make sure you're lined up with your vanishing point. I can add that in, I go all the way up here. Yep. I check this one right here. Yeah, I can get a little dimension there. This here I draw through my letter. So now that is all my dimension for my one point perspective vein.